Yeah, Rob, what, what changed? What was the biggest thing that changed after you guys took that lead? Penalties. Um, can't, can't give them three yards. And uh, uh, we did something that's relatively uncharacteristic of our style of play all year. And, and, and give them the penalties. It gives them, gives them hope and a chance. And gives them 15 yards at a, at a time. And, and that's, uh, you know, you, you can, I, I'll have to look at it more. But, you know, that's one thing that kind of stood out in that second, second quarter. We started. Start giving up 15 yarders. Yeah, that is something that you guys have been really good with this year. Uh, was it anything different about today, or just some some stuff that happened? Well, no, I I just think you know, uh, kids are playing hard, and, and you know, just the kids playing hard and get caught up in the moment. You know, this uh, we, we stress this this environment here, and it can be very frustrating if things stop, you know, are, are not going your way or stop going your way, and and uh, one thing compounds the other. We addressed it all week. And, kids you know uh, we'll, we'll take a look at it and see where we can be better in the first quarter you guys were getting whatever you wanted on the slot did they make an adjustment to take away Mikey Dean or what no we? no I think uh, I think you know you saw some of Matt's throws uh, uh, a little bit all over the place but uh, you know, I think I think Mike Fair had, had a really good solid game plan coming into this and and we probably uh, awoke the uh, sleeping giant you know if, uh, I, I doubt if they were overlooking us but you know, if they were kind of trying to get their feet, uh, we certainly uh, you know woke them up and they and they responded. Robbie Howe had that sack on the safety blitz, and then I don't think Strzok completed a pass for until the third quarter. After that, do you think that affected him at all? Just uh, his comfort level? No, you know, as a matter of our, our tight end, uh, we were in gap protection, and the tight end uh, uh, went too far down in his gap. You know, he could have, you know, when when, uh, when, when he protected, uh, uh, Robbie was. Man on the tight end added to the uh, what was they add to the rush and the tight end missed them. So uh, I don't think that I don't think that did. You know, um, it's just a Matt Struck's first time in an environment. You know, in an environment such as this, you know, it's it's a louder, more raucous environment than even Utah. You know, so uh, you know, like I said, it's just a matter of, of us overcoming adversity. We have to be better at that. What did you think of Dalton's speed after getting to see him live? Oh, he, he, you know, he played well. Um, they, they stand back there, throwing and pitching it around, and, and uh, uh, you know, he's a, he's a good he's a good player. How tough was that matchup on the outside for you guys, number eighteen and number eight? Uh, those two are, those, you know, we like to think uh, our number twenty and number two and number eighty are are, are uh, close to those guys. But you know that's the first time. Well, I, you know I guess Akeem, Akeem was with the team two years ago, three years ago as a freshman. But you know he's a, he's a big guy. That's a he's a big good looking receiver. They do a good job with him. It's just the experience of being back here this week. What was this, what was today like for you? Uh, just you know it, it was it was more of a uh, you like to you got to remain focused. And you know, there's a lot of people wanting to say hi and all that stuff. And, you gotta you gotta block a lot of that out, and um, uh, but it was good to see you know a lot of people that, that I consider friends, and uh, but uh, still you know I'm an Idaho State Bengal, and uh, 64 guys that are here, and 100 guys uh, back you know told me back in Pocatello that that's that's who we are, and that's who's my number one priority. Just the ebbs and flows of this league. I mean, last week you guys were up 41 10 at halftime, and then this this yeah. week the second half gets away from it. How important is it to refocus to kind of get back uh, on we, track? We got, well, we got to get back to uh, Pocatello and take the bus right back, and uh, hopefully be there by 10 30, 11, and tomorrow morning get going on the uh, North Dakota Fighting Hawks. You've been around some Montana teams at one conference championships. How close do you think this Montana team is to getting to that level? Probably right there. Yeah, it's, it's solid on, on all, all three bases. You know, it's scary to punt the ball to uh, McGee, and, and it's scary to kick it off to Flowers, and uh, uh, dangerous on both sides of the ball. Anything else, Coach? Good, thanks. Yeah, thanks.